is empty right now, you can hear it, and I'm getting ready to acid wash the floor. Both of my shops will have two-part epoxy floors in them to mitigate etching from juice in the like getting on the floor. Also just in general makes them much easier to clean. It's a very robust surface. I use Sherwin-Williams Macro Epoxy 646. It's two-part, $100 a gallon, $200 per batch. Typically, I should be able to cover this entire floor with two gallons. Um, not inexpensive, but truly a lifetime solution. Now, to actually wash the floor is just essential for any coating you're going to put down on your floor. I'm going to use a dilute, keyword dilute solution of muriatic acid. This is full strength muriatic acid. I want to cut it probably 4 to 1, 6 to 1. So you must dilute your muriatic. And you put the water in first and then you add the acid. Okay, super, super important. The, uh, the way I put it, I've, I've used a pressure sprayer in the past, just a, a chemical sprayer, and they'll handle muriatic just fine. But I've also seen people just use a, a common garden watering can. It needs to be plastic, not metal. Okay, here's the thing. So, you know how far you've got, this right now has about a gallon in it. I would probably put about a half a gallon of muriatic in it and my solution's ready. And I can just start doing my little, and as soon as you do it, you will probably see it start to steam. It's, it's eating into the floor the way it's supposed to, taking off that surface coat, not only of dirt, but a, a kind of a layer that comes in from the process of smoothing out the concrete when it's poured. Then I use a chemical brush and do that. Now this is a, this is one of those pipes where I, I cannot overemphasize safety enough. You must protect your eyes. You must wear an acid organic vapor respirator. <clears throat> uh, I, I don't you know I don't care if you get a disposable one. With, that's rated for organic vapor and acid, or if, like I use removable cartridges, but you must wear a respirator the whole time, and you want to have plenty of ventilation at some point to clear the fumes out of the space. Okay, so you're etching your floor, you're protecting your eyes and face, your footwear, you should be wearing rubber boots or you're gonna be throwing away those shoes because it will eat two things, and I have water service in here. You want a lot of water because after you've done scrubbing in a given section, you want to rinse it. And just because you're setting it down your drains. Now my drains are all plastic up to the pump. The pump is cast iron. So I really don't want any concentrate of acid that might remain, not been neutralized by the floor, getting to my pump. So I'm going to thoroughly water rinse the floor to protect the pump. What goes out the back is really what you learned about in chemistry is going to be dissolved salts. And that is the calcium and the like from the floor that it leached off. The floor is still turned on, the room temperature is set for 60. So once I clear the air out and the floor is on, there's this heat source that will help it dry. I have a dehumidifier because what's going to be in the air is only going to be water vapor. The dehumidifier will help to dry the room out more quickly. It goes directly into the sump pit and that gets discharged. So anyway, preparation is critical for any coating you're going to put onto a floor. Lots of videos of people who've done, done their own floors and patches are peeling up. It's because they did not prep it right. I, I'm really very pleased to say that the other shop of mine, which is like six, seven years old, it's been brutalized. It, it, the, the floor is just great. It, it, it's held up remarkably. The Macropoxy product is very good. That's an entirely different set of instructions. I, I think they've got videos on YouTube about it. But I'm now getting ready to get this floor ready so that 
once the coating goes down, if I've timed this right and it's done by April, that's when we start getting condensation coming around and the dew point changes and I want this floor bone dry before I put down that epoxy coat. So that's why you're seeing this now. I hope this is useful. Be careful out there. Talk to you later. Bye for now.